Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. Let's talk about how to walk your bowling footwork lines. Walk your lines. And that's really vital to being an accurate bowler, developing your skills. If you're new to the game, you're a beginning bowler, uh, the simplest thing to do is walk straight no matter where you position yourself on the approach. Well, there's a couple of components. The length of your steps that are important, and then, of course, the direction of your steps. Those are two key components of good footwork. First, the length of your steps. Try to work uh, toward developing a natural length stride. The momentum of walking up and delivering the ball will increase your rhythm as you go, naturally. But in your mind, you want to try to maintain the same even pace, step to step, and the same length as a normal walking slide. Excuse me, normal walking step. Uh, if you're standing at the uh, foul line, you should be probably uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 feet from the foul line. The first set of guides on the approach near the center of the approach are 12 feet from the foul line. If you only take four steps, you have to be a pretty long person to cover three feet each stride. That's a long way. That's a whole yard. You've got to stretch for that a little bit. So a lot of you shorter people, less than six feet, you might want to think about standing with your heels up by the by those guides. Get a little closer. Experiment to you're only sliding about two inches behind the line each delivery and then you're the right distance, okay? Now, walk your direction. That's most important. Walk a straight line. Visualize the tightrope acrobat in the circus walking with overlapping steps on that wire, keeping their head very steady uh, and their steps are actually right underneath their chin, aren't they? Uh, in the center of their body for best balance, right down the button line of your shirt and the front part of your torso. Uh, if you're a person that walks from right to left, you hide your pain a little bit, and that's your natural walk. A lot of you, a lot of us are. Well, you got to work a little bit to contain that. So where we start, we finish on the foul line. And the, ex the next thing to think about is when you move over to shoot a cross lane spare or play a, a, a more of an inside line uh, because of a drier lanes, and you have a, developed a little hook ball, and you give it room away from the pocket to hook it back to the pocket. Wherever you adjust to in your starting position, walk your line. Even though it's a visual distraction, it looks differently from the corner of the lane than it does from the center, you still must walk your line. So a good thing to practice when you're not in competition, put a piece of tape uh, up at the foul line, just behind the foul line on the same board you're standing at. No matter if you're bowling a strike ball, a spare ball for the corner pin spares on either side of the lane, wherever you make your adjustment, walk a straight line, just influence your hip and shoulder to face your target on the lane slightly. You can still walk your lines. You've got to practice it. It's different, but it will work. Walking your lines is key to accuracy. Accuracy lives with good footwork, and walking straight lines is a very important component of that. Well, we hope some of these tips help you. And while you're here, check around our site for some interesting opportunities. And if you find something you want to purchase, just follow the simple and easy online order instructions. And remember, our store is always open. And we thank you for visiting BowlingBall.com.